Um, want to talk to you about one of your old clubs, mate, obviously West Ham. It just seems, you know, a great result at home, obviously, in, against the Forest, Nottingham Forest, and then, I mean, a really shocking result and really poor display, and the question marks are getting uh, hovering over Big big Moisey again. Where do you see the club at this moment in time? Obviously, last season was an excellent season, but there's no no consistency at all in that squad and that team. Yeah, last couple of seasons have been really good, Ali, really, really good, and... Uh... You know, I know David says we've been spoiled, and we have a little bit because normally it's a little bit of a struggle, isn't it? But now the last two seasons have sort of set the bar, and this one's well, well under the bar, so to speak. So it's a struggle, but I believe they'll get out of it, Ali. And I think they've got to not panic at the moment. I know everybody in and around them are getting ran, uh, rid of managers and mm. trying to get that, you know, that little kickback off of getting a new manager in. But um, I believe that David could get us out of the trouble. Another one of your former clubs as well, Fulham, uh, in action last night. We've just been speaking about them. A loss 3-2 to their local rivals, Brentford. But um, just taking that game out of the equation, they've been so impressive, haven't they? Oh, terrific, Laura. Absolutely terrific. And, you know, just when I look at West Ham, I think like the players they've got, and the players Fulham have got at least of equal ability. And, you know, sometimes I wish they could get a little bit more on the front foot. West Ham, that is, as, as the way Fulham do. But, Last night, they come unstuck, didn't they? Uh, they did miss Paulinho, though. He was yeah. suspended. He really sets the tone, particularly early in the games. And that's where they struggled. Brentford got on the front foot. Fair play to them as well. They were excellent and uh, fully deserved their victory. But the miss of Paulinho, that was uh, that was too hard to bear. You could see it in the middle of the midfield, the competitiveness. They kind of lost it in the middle there, going sideways and backwards. And Whereas before, they'd been looking forward a lot quicker. Mm. How good do you think Solomon's been doing? Especially, I watched the FA Cup, the absolute banger, but now it's, what, five and five, I think he scored? He's terrific, isn't he? I mean, he, he looks like he's about 12, doesn't he? He's <laughs> unbelievable. He's, like, he's like a little squat little figure, isn't he? And you think, this kid may be, you know, is he going to be a footballer? Because I, I met him when he was injured. I met him in uh, at Fulham, and I didn't realise who it was. And I thought it was just a, like a little kid who'd signed, just signed Apprentice or something. But he really is a talent. And he's he's brave as well. He accepts the ball with his back to goal as a winger. He accepts a challenge and he's got such quick, quick feet. And I think what he has uh, done this season, he's learnt off the master. And the master at Fulham is Willian. Uh -huh. Willian's been incredible and he's learnt off him. You know, how, Ali, if you're uh -huh. working in ground players like that, just watch him in training. And you can learn, can't you? Tony, it's amazing. I've written it down. It's going to be my next question about Willian. I mean, it's just a remarkable return to for, to forum. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I I thought he was when I see in the way out. You know what I mean? Heading the latter stages of his career on the slope a little bit, but the resurgence in that man's form has been remarkable. Yeah, you hadn't written that down, Ali. I've just jogged your memory. You ain't <laughs> <laughs> I struggled with the spelling, believe me, but I, that was an attempt at spelling of it. <laughs> Mate, don't get carried away with the award. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, I have to ask as well. Um, yeah, yeah. Not, not many people will know this, Tony. I remember shadowing you on Soccer Special years and years and years ago. Oh, and it was I wonderful, wasn't it? And since then, I didn't even realise, well, I think they're your nephews or your second cousins. Alfie, he's my personal trainer and Connor's my electrician. <laughs> Did you know that? Oh, <laughs> Connor's, oh, you've got Connor as well, yeah. yeah Connor's my electrician. So, if, so you've got you, Alfie and Sid. Alfie yeah. and Sid are from, Alfie's currently in Dubai, mm -hmm. yeah. So, Having a great um, time by the looks of it. <laughs> uh, Jim said you look radiant, so you ain't missing him, your personal trainer, are you? <laughs> that, was, that was more directed at Ali, I've got to say. Uh, <laughs> delivered it so perfectly. Um, yeah. One more one more, just on, on West Ham and their kind of hopes. When you look at the bottom of the table and, and how tight it is down there, Tony, do you actually, I mean, I know what you're just saying about West Ham, but look at the other teams as well that are stuck in it. So Everton, Southampton, Bournemouth. Do you think that's going to change up? Who would your bottom three be at this stage? Oh, it's all the way up to Palace. Mm. I, I think, you know, normally I go, oh, bang, they're a certainty, they're yeah. a certainty, and you've got one other. But they're all picking up points at the moment. And then even, it just changes. But I think even when it changes for that point, and you see yourself a point or two clear of it, it's so good psychologically. That's me having been down there before as well. So I think it's too tight to call. It goes all the way up to Palace, I think, yeah. all the way up to Palace. They're having a little bit of a bad run as well at the moment. So 
Oh, I wouldn't want to be the kiss of death for any of them, but mm. it, that is going to, I really think that's going to be the one, you know, like it is the title at the end of the season. When I go as it stands, mm. that's going to be yeah. five clubs involved, maybe on the last day of the season. Wow. Um, Tony, thank you so much. Lovely to Thanks, catch up. Thanks, Tony. With you. Good to talk, Paul. Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods. Monday to Wednesday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.